Do you like me yet? <laughs> well, figure it out, right? <laughs> okay. Here I go, here I go, here I go again. Ladies, what's my weakness? Uh, ham. Ham. That's my... <laughs> that's my weakness. Okay. <laughs> When I was uh, growing up, I had a dog, and uh, he actually inspired me to get a job working with animals. I got one. I was the dog killer at the Humane Society. <laughs> no, I felt guilty about it. I was getting paid to do something I'd probably be doing anyways. <laughs> Killing dogs. I did have a dog. It's actually a sad story. He bit a little boy in the face. We had to have him killed, because he would have told his parents. <laughs> You're more okay with me killing a kid than a dog? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I, uh, I realize I'm a comedian. I want to tell you a quick story uh, about my grandmother who passed away recently, which is sad. You know, it's a bummer. But she was in her late 90s. It's part of life you got to deal with. It. I'm sure some people here have a dead old grandma or whatever. <laughs> By round of applause, how many people have a dead... No, we won't, we won't do that. But again, it's sad. Part of life. Got to deal with it. One of the last few days of my grandma's life was spent in a hospice home, surrounded by her family. And uh, it was getting late one night. We were getting hungry. We decided to order a pizza. Pizza delivery guy shows up to the hospice home, and uh, they direct him back to the room that we're all in. And when he shows up, we're like, yeah, pizza's here. Right, Grandma? <laughs> That's exactly the moment my grandma died. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. That's it for me. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, keep going. Uh, that's a true story. That really happened. Like, what do you do? And that you pay the pizza guy, right? First things first, you tip him. You know, he watched a person die. I thought about it. He should have been like, free pizza. Sorry for your loss. He didn't. We paid full price for the pizza. <laughs> Mostly, I'm still curious. How long do you have to wait till you eat a slice of pizza in that situation? <laughs> Right? You don't want to be rude. We, we all agreed we were hungry 20 minutes ago. <laughs> no? Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. My grandma's actually here tonight. <laughs> and she's got free pizza for everybody. Come on out, Grandma. <laughs> She passed away. She did. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> well, before I get out of here, uh, I want to tell you about my book. I wrote a book. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you go buy it. It would help me financially. Um, it's not really a funny, it, funny book. It's not a comedy book. It does have some funny parts. Um, but something I'm excited to share with you is we just did the audio book. So I get to, I'm going to play a, just a quick clip of my audio book uh, for you. And just, you know, consider it as a book that you would buy or whatever. But uh, here we go. It's just a quick clip of my audio book. Enjoy. Growing up, I was a fairly normal child. Nothing too out of the ordinary, really. Just a kid. I never really got into too much trouble. I did what I was told for the most part and kept a low profile. I went to school just like everybody else and paid attention. But when I got home from school is when I did most of my real learning. I was very... All right, you don't like it. Um, <laughs> it's just a book. Uh, well, you know, something else kind of interesting about it, you know, like on a DVD, they would do a director's commentary. We tried that out with my book. I actually haven't had a chance to hear it yet. Growing up, Hello, I was a fairly this is normal Randy Lipke, the author Nothing of the book, too out of the ordinary, really. really. The audio book just a kid. you were listening to. I never really got into It was a real trouble. fun opportunity for me to actually get to write. I went to school just, just like everybody else and paid attention listening to. But when I got class during the audio book, I was quite real, which is a rare. I was very curious. This is constant to take people to the first time. Thank you. I don't know why you're clapping. That's very nice, though. Um, that's it for me. Thanks a lot, everybody.